Okay. Hey, hey there, everyone. Welcome back to All of Fabric 6. Um, yeah, I love this place. I raided one of these last time. This isn't what we're here for, but I'm sure there's some cool treasure to be had if we had the patience. No, what we're after is a forest biome because we have a special boss to knock out as part of the boss rush. We've done all of the ones listed here except for Twilight Forest. We'll get to them, you know, I'll mention them at the end of the episode. We've done the Golem, we've done the Eye, the Lich, the Psidolith, the Gauntlet, the Blossom, the Guy Guardian, the Conjunctivitis, Void Shadow. All that's left is the Corrupted Champion. So today's going to be a Tech Reborn, complete the Fusion Reactor kind of day because we're almost there. But before we do that, let's have a bit of fun. Let's hunt down the Corrupted Champion and get another notch in our belt. So to do this, you collect all three Bone Fragment pieces from the Ruins structure. Every Ruin has a unique fragment, upper, middle, and lower. And then you do a whole thing. Well, we have... I mean, I've got it right here. No, that's a chest plate. <laughs> we have one piece. We have the... I guess that looks like the middle piece. Yeah, it looks like this might be the top. That's the middle and that's the bottom. So we've only got one piece. We need to find two more. So we are on the hunt for graveyard looking structures in forest biomes. And this is a forest biome. That's not it. God knows what that is. But yeah, we're not here for distractions. We're here for graveyards. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of hunting and see what I can find. Is this a hint? No. That's from the bone zone. Okay. The sun is coming up. We've got to get out our sunscreen. Uh, for those who don't know why we need sunscreen, it's because we are actually a vampire underneath all this. This is promising. I think this is just a... Okay, so it's not whatever that is. The hunt continues. Uh... Hey! That's it! I just stumbled across it. Is that you guys? Ah! I guess the sunscreen wore off. And so that's it. Ah, oh, that's better. So this is what we need. This is the top piece. <laughs> there it is. Look at us. Collect the upper piece of the bone stuff. And you know what? I'm kind of sick of this thing up here, the gravity chest plate enabled thing polluting our screen. So let's do something about that. We should be able to get this thing, the ring of angels, or the angel ring. And this thing gives us creative flight. And I'm pretty sure we have, I mean, it costs 400 million FE, but I'm pretty sure we have all those items. Now we have to give up our solar elytra. Sad. Give up our takeoff belt. Sad. We've got the Calorite engine. We should have the anima thing, whatever it's called. Ancient anima. Unbreakability upgrade. And Gaia ingot. Look at this, I know everything's name. So I'm pretty sure we just put those things. So I hope the enchantments don't make a difference. They shouldn't into there and that should be that all right let's see how we go oh, shade is off we can see it's doing something how much juice are you sucking out of there ah oh, you're fine you're good this thing's solid good job thing there it is oops it's come back into the system there we go create a flight achievement and let's take off i guess the extra hearts Put that thing on. Shift click to disable. Can I do that? So, does it cost mana? I'm not sure. We'll, we've got this mana tablet here, so we'll keep an eye if, that's, if that drains it or anything. Oh, and now we should be able to swap out. We don't need this chest piece anymore. We put that away for storage. And we still got flight. Okay, the hunt continues. What's this thing? Pillager camp. I don't think this is it. Not the place we're looking for. Let's keep looking. Excuse me one sec. What's this place? What is this place? That ain't it. That ain't it. Not it. Not it. <laughs> and it's not too much of a stretch to imagine that we're looking for something eerie looking. The mod's called the graveyard after all. That's not it. Keep looking. Cute little town. Aha! This is graveyard. Ooh, it's very graveyard. It's next to a giant freaking windmill though, and those things can be really annoying. Is this it? Have we found it? Yep, this is from the mod the graveyard, so how do we do it? 
Okay, the sun's about to come up. We'll have to skip the next day, and I think I'll just have to kind of go ham, digging up everything. Unless it's somewhere super obvious, like... Oh. Hey, guys. Like in this chest or something. Nah. Looks like we are out of luck. Yeah, so I'm thinking either this place might be, like, set up wrong, and the terrain gen from that windmill kind of messed things up a little bit, or maybe we've already looted this one, or maybe we're just unlucky. What's this? Ooh! Turtle eggs? Oh my god. That's cool. I think they're probably the first turtle eggs we've got so far, so... That was a rare kind of find. If it's anywhere, it'd be somewhere special, so I'd... I think we got to give up on this place. Not it, but gorgeous. Not it. No, so look, okay. Come over here for a second, all right? You see this? See what I'm doing here? Locate structure, graveyard. You see this? Ruins, maybe? Okay, you see that? No, you didn't. You didn't see nothing, okay? <laughs> We're going to head to there. Oh, I can actually, I, I don't want to teleport. Okay, we're going to head there, 1500 minus 3000, and we're going to see what we can see. Now, I didn't want to do that, that's the first time I've had to rely on that, but I have, have scoured this entire map. What's more, there's like a, a 5000 by 5000 grid that I opened up early in the season, and during an update, I just, graveyard? No. And during an update, I just, um, I lost all my map data. I don't know what happened. I just copied over files incorrectly, I guess, and the map got wiped. Now, I didn't care too much about it at the time, because I was like, whatever, we found our place to settle in, we found a place to call home. But I care now, because if that was still there, I could probably just use it to browse the entire map. So I'm having to open up a lot of stuff that I've already unlocked. Get out of here, you. <laughs> okay, so we had to employ some... Oops, wait for it. There we go. So we had to employ a little bit of creativity then. This guy here, the Nameless Hanged. Will, if you're lucky, trade you the right piece? No, they're selling the middle piece. I don't know how often this cycles, but they're bound to sell the bottom piece as well. How about we do this? We'll redecorate a little bit just to protect ourselves from the, the pesky old sun. Trust your sleeping bag out. Okay, and let's just rinse and repeat. So you can probably tell from the spam there in the chat log. I'm going to pass the day as well. Yeah, you can probably tell from the chat log spam. I've been doing a little bit of cheating. So for about two hours, I was flying around. Like the wiki says, you're looking for a campsite. Well, I don't know what a, I don't know what a bloody campsite looks like. And I, yeah, I'm two hours in. My bum's sore from sitting on it for too long. But I, I know that if you're lucky enough to find one of these guys, a nameless hanged, at a tree, a big dead tree, kind of sticks out, you know. They sell pieces of the staff. It looks like they do refresh them. I do have plenty of this stuff, so I'm gonna. I'll buy your head, okay? You happy? Get out of here. Third time's the charm? That's it. That is it. That is the last piece of the puzzle, okay. A shame we had to resort to cheating to get there, but... <laughs> thanks, pal. You might come in handy if we have to... <laughs> have to refight this thing. Okay. <laughs> um, we have the three pieces. Obtain a bone dagger from an acolyte or craft it yourself. Bone dagger. Okay, we got plenty. Hold a glass bottle in your offhand and start killing villagers. Oh. With the bone dagger, you'll get a vial of blood. Fill the vial to the limit. And then find a lich prison structure, a large floating island above the oceans. Wait until it's nighttime. Place down the bone staff pieces. From upper to lower on the dark, corrupted deep slate blocks in front of the altar, they should fairly stand out and pour the vial of blood into the altar to summon this son of a gun. Can I'm fairly certain I've seen one before, but it might, have been, it might not have been in this playthrough. Somewhere above an ocean, there is a floating island. So check this out. We're in a crater here, and we've got an Ad Astra comet has landed. Uh, a plate energistic comet has landed. Um, and the Citrine Geo decided to spawn here as well. That is a hectic place, but we are actually over here for, there's our little station where we fought the Gaia Guardian. The reason we're over here is actually this thing up here. These weren't too hard to find, to be honest. Like, they, they stick out like a sore thumb on the map, just over bodies of water. So here we are at the scary floating island to fight 
one of the last bosses in the game, really. So this is the last of the non-Twilight Forest bosses that we need to get through. And I'm not too worried because we are... Uh, well, we kitted up pretty well. We got flight. But first of all, it said we needed some blood. Hold a glass bottle in your offhand and start killing villagers. Well, this blood that we're drinking, we were able to get that from Vindicators when using the Athame. Maybe we can get this kind of blood. It's called Vile Blood. Maybe we can get this stuff. Killing pillagers too? No. Nah. Oh, I was banking on that working. Okay, no luck. This is terrible news. Be right back. You guys don't need to see this. Okay then, so yeah, we managed to find ourselves a couple of vials of blood. Don't judge me, right? I think it was just a couple episodes that I said we're not going to get blood the, um, the required way that way <laughs> but you know to get this stuff for our um for our thirst for our vampire thirst but there was no other option so it's kind of it's either do it or basically don't get completionist and i'm getting that completionist trophy okay so um yeah, there's a couple of villages around the world now that are a little bit quieter a little bit more peaceful perhaps all right let's see how we go and it just says place the bone stuff pieces from upper to lower on the dark corrupted deep slate blocks in front of the altar and then pour the blood on top i can do that I'm thinking these are the three corrupted places. These things are actually unminable. So corrupted deep slate center. Yep, that's where we put the stuff, I think. So let's buff up. Put down the pieces. It's not too late to back out. And pour this down and wish me luck. Oh my God. What do I do? What do you want? Oh my god. Is this even Minecraft anymore? What is this thing? You are hideous. Ah! I mean, I'm not too worried. Oh my god, this is sick. This is evil. I'm not too worried because these guys actually, like, they're pretty chill with me. You didn't bank on that, did you, buddy? <laughs> no! Oh. oh, he's controlling me. Wait. Okay, I'm not too worried. I'm technically immortal. But let's, let's see this play out. Okay, let's hide behind this pillar here. Hex. Honestly, I think I forget how to use this thing. Where's my CAD? Oh, we're in a dark place. They teleported us here. Oh. I'm crouching, I am crouching. Okay, that, is it the way out? Ladder. Okay, you're coming with me. <laughs> there we go. Boss defeated. Now nah, let, let's knock this one out. <laughs> trying to escape. Let's go straight for the heart. There we go. Done and dusted. Oh, second phase. There's a second phase. This thing. Oh god, and it's night time too. Better quickly drink some sunblock. That's how sunblock works, you drink it. Oh. Oh. What's going on? I can't see anything. Can I attack it? Nope, I can't attack it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I just have to run away. Maybe until my vision comes back. Thank god these guys aren't attacking me. That's because of my boots. I got these boots undead. They're cool with me. Hey, you big jerk. <laughs> We done? Oh, there's a third phase. <laughs> oh my god. You are hideous. I'm not kissing you. Back up. Hey, I wonder how strong this thing is. Like, the problem is my defenses are just way too good, and I don't think it can actually kill me with my immortality. There we go. I'm at some block. Yeah, good, good. See you later. 
It's been fun. What do I get for that? Attain the staff of... Oh, I, I got the staff, did I? <gasps> there it is, the staff of Azratagul. What does it do? Huh? Hey. I summoned that guy. What about you? <gasps> oh, okay. So it attacks whoever I attack. <laughs> hey, take this guy out. <laughs> nice. You're like my pet. But look, there's a bunch of these staffs. Zafnakgul. Mianaktagul. This one. Hmm. Let me knock out another one of these. Because... Oh, help. All right, let's knock this one out of the park. Honestly, I love being immortal. <laughs> it makes this game trivial. Okay. No, ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, we just need to get these wardens off us. Are they not going to fight this guy? I don't think so. I think they're, just, they're too distracted. How about we do this? <laughs> not so big now, are ya? Oh, you big bully. Okay, and that time we got the staff of Nor Nortic Ghoul. And you give me another dude, so I can have two dudes. I can have two dudes. Can I make them fight each other? No, I can't. That's a shame. Yeah, so if you wanted to, you could what, do, it one, two, three, four, do it five times in total to get all five staffs, or maybe, maybe you need... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> maybe you'll get the same sword multiple times. I don't know how it works. But either way, I'm happy with two. Two is all we need. Let's go build ourselves a Tech Reborn Fusion Reactor. And just to clarify, this ring that we have to, for Creative Flight, it looks like it does eat up mana, because you can see there it's getting a little bit less, and I've had to refill it a few times, which ain't a big drama. Okay, so with Tech Reborn now, we're just waiting on two things. Or well, Tungsten Seal we've done. Thank you. We've just got to make Helium Plasma Cell, which you can only make in a fusion reactor. Like these other recipes here, just they're kind of incorrect. They don't point to the right stuff. We need to do it in a fusion reactor with deuterium and helium-3. Okay. Yeah, so the only recipe that seems to be valid here for deuterium cell is from hydrogen cells. And hydrogen cells you get in the industrial electrolyzer from... Oh, there's a bunch of ways to do it. Electrolyzing water might be the easiest way to get it, i I got to imagine. But it is tempting to go for just the, the shortcut recipe here of, a, of 12 bauxite and just some empty cells. Yeah, in fact, you know what? There's fewer steps. This is the one we're going to do. And the helium we get from... Uh, you can fusion reactor tritium and deuterium. And look, there's probably a bunch of ways you can do this, but I like the look of this one. 16 endstone dust to get to helium-3 with some helium left over. And we have an electrolyzer and we have a centrifuge. Cool. So let me just set up those recipes. So we electrolyze for the hydrogen and we centrifuge for the deuterium and the helium-3. Okay, that's the easy part done. But we still got to make the helium plasma. So I guess we got to build a fusion reactor. We already have the, the computer. We made it last time. It's part of a multi-block that produces energy from various fluids. It doesn't simply consume fuel, but instead processes them into new items. A minimum of 16 fusion cores to create a usable fusion reactor. I mean, I'm obviously not going to put it in the center of my base. Let's just have a look at the UI. Uh, toggle. Interesting. And what's the max size? Oh. Oh. Okay, what? <laughs> Whoa, look how much lag we're getting now. I feel like my game's about to crash. That seems way unrealistic. I don't know. In between episodes, I did... Like, I made a bunch more fusion coils. Now we got 60 of them. 1 times 64 plus 0. Okay, whatever size this is, size 14, is a full stack of the fusion coils. Oh, size 15 even. Okay, how about we put it there like this? Yeah, maybe an odd place to put it. I hope this thing doesn't blow up. <laughs> but I got backup, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if it did. Okay, so I've just run a cable out from our base. We just need to fill this in. And then I guess give it a pattern provider and, and give it these recipes. We'll see. Now, I really, really... <laughs> Like, I really wanted to build the max size reactor. I was like, you know, we got the resources for it. I can just prep all the things before the episode and 
Like, it'll be easy, right? And then I had to look into some of the requirements to do it. You're good. Yeah, you're good. And it's immense. Like, you can just have a look at it here. This is size 15, but the max size one takes 49 and a half stacks of coils. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So I'm happy with this. So we give it its patterns. And it's going to be this one, one of each. And I guess I'll just sneak a power supply just in the back there. Okay. Oh, you're going to be sucking up a lot of power. Three, three gigahertz. That's probably going to run us dry. <laughs> we'll just apply some sunscreen. Are you good? You're literally eating up all my power. That's terrible. At a high rate as well. Okay, I think we're okay. We're doing 300,000 a tick, so I think we're okay for now. Ah, the sun! Let's see, can we make helium plasma? This one. We just need to get hands on one of these things. The bass is probably being super loud right now, but we'll see what happens when that comes in here. Oh, it's in. 40%. Wow, it's actually easier than I thought it would be. Okay, it's coming in. Honestly, didn't think it'd be so easy, but um, yeah. Ticking away. 92, 93, 94. 100. Where, where did it go? Oh, okay, it was just doing its thing. There it is. But uh, I think we need to auto output it that's finished in the system. There it is. Get our stinking paws on that. Turn this thing off because it's just it's just consuming all of our power. And now we're on to the final thing. So this thing produces energy from helium plasma, which is that. Okay. So to be honest, uh, let's get honest now for a real quick. Uh, this stuff, this might be a little bit outdated. Like it might be fun to power your base with this, but we've got a base over there producing infinite energy basically. And we've got a max tier power reactor uh, in the basement. So we're just doing this for quests. Like I've said that a bunch of times, but I, I hate to disappoint. I'm not going to leave this running all the time. And all we need now to get the last quest and tick off this entire freaking page is make the plasma generator, which is easy. There's our plasma generator. Get it in your hands. Look at the page. Tick it off. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, we've missed something. I was getting ready to do a big song and dance. We've missed something. Oh, a cloaking device. What's this? Easy as that. Okay. Now we're done and we can collect our trophy. Fantastic. So good. Let's put this down. No, wrong trophy. Let's put this down right, right about here. And you know what? You can go next to it. Okay, look at this, a big wall of green. Not quite done with TR though, because there's like, there's the TR basic tools, which we skipped over. Advanced and industrial tools. There's the nano saber, which is also from Tech Reborn. And there's the quantum armor, and there's a few other things. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and tick off things here that we didn't have. All right, BRB. Now we can do this. All right, I'm not going to make the rest of that advanced netherite stuff because we're rocking the latest from Spectrum, which I'm very happy with. Some basic things, don't really care too much about those. This thing is cool. This lantern thing here is cool. I wonder if maybe you have to, you have to redstone it or something. Okay, yeah, give it a redstone pulse and it'll stop those eldritch mobs from, um, from spawning nearby. That's not a problem that we actually suffer from, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, IR mining drills, had to tick them off the list. Okay, I think that's everything on this page, except for, and let's do this real quick, except for the quantum armor set, which isn't going to be too hard. Let's see, helmet, chest, leggings and boots, and that is a chapter down that's a chapter down and a fancy new, <laughs> a fancy new armor set. What do you think? I kind of blend in pretty well here, don't I? I think somebody walking by wouldn't even spot me. Look, I want to get out of here, but I'm curious. You take plasma and output power. Okay. 
So that's what that looks like. That's the plasma generator, in case you guys are wondering. And a bunch of tanks. Okay, cool. So I've done the same for this page, just cleaned it up, got everything that we didn't already have, except for the quantum barrel and the quantum tank. But we'll, um, yeah, next episode is finishing off MI. So we'll get that quantum stuff then. So I just realized that we never actually talked about these tech reborn tools. Like we've got the industrial drill, the industrial jackhammer, the industrial chainsaw. Well, I did actually talk about them, but I, I cut it out because I made a bit of a fool of myself, misunderstanding their basic uses. So check it out. Industrial drill. Pretty fast. But it has this state here called, like it says inactive now. So shift right click. Now it's active. Now it does three by threes. That's pretty cool. And also, oh, instant mines are gravel and dirt and those kinds of things, which is really cool. It just uses a little bit of power. But power we got. Same thing with this guy, the the jackhammer. It's actually got a 32 digging speed as opposed to just the eight. But you gotta activate that thing first. Okay, and it even does a five by five. And the chainsaw, as you can imagine, it's just fast on wood. But this thing, this Omni tool thing, which you can see I've actually enchanted, put those away for storage forever, which you can see I've already actually enchanted with uh, like efficiency, silk touch, that kind of stuff. It has no inactive or active state. It's just quick. That's badass. Apparently 34 digging speed. Okay, not as fast as this guy, as our pickaxe, but pretty fast. And if we can, if we can hunt down where that growling's coming from, this guy, there he is, so noisy. It's also, as you can imagine, being called an, an omni tool and all, it's also a weapon. <laughs> then again, okay, more powerful than my fists. Not as powerful as my sword. That's pretty good though. So that's a real keeper. And of course, yeah, if you want, you can enchant the, the armor as well, but maybe next time. Okay, now you, hey you, you in the editing room, if you could. Please put giant spoiler warnings all over the screen right now. Be good? Okay, cool. So there's been a, a new update from Spectrum, a pretty big one, and we're going to spend the rest of the episode checking out some of the new stuff. You might recall this place from earlier in the season. We had to kind of like mix and match the different uh, Spectrum powders to make green, and this one to make purple to open the door. Anyway, we're in over here. Mix brown to get in. But this one we couldn't access because grey isn't a colour, or wasn't a colour, that you could make at the time. There's a reason I'm doing this at the end of the episode and not earlier, and that's because I really, I, look, I urge you to tune out now if you haven't played much Spectrum before. It is one of my favourite mods, if not the absolute favourite, and its enjoyment is heavily tied to, like, discovering your own way through the progression by yourself. So, <laughs> this is your warning. I've managed to avoid all spoilers myself for the updates, yeah, so you should too. Get out of here, will ya? You gone? Okay, good. So just earlier I did a bit of a test, it didn't work out, but anyway. I was like, if we can make white, and then three blacks, is that grey? No, hmm. Okay, what about just the one black? No, it didn't work. So I'm thinking it's because there's this new guy here up in the corner. There's our main base powders, including onyx. And this one, I think it's new. It looks like it might be a white powder, right? So we'll come back here later on, maybe see what's in that delicious chest. But first of all, we got somewhere else we need to go. Abysmal. Open a portal. Deeper down. Pretty obvious what we need to do there. Picture of some bedrock. And we've got our ruin. 
So let's give this a try somewhere, somewhere safe. Now, you want to be really, really careful with this stuff. It spreads super quick and it'll eat everything in its way. So just to be safe, we're going to do it down here. We're going to clear out all this deep slate stuff. And let's see if this is how we get there. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's see what we've opened up. Okay, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I hesitate to jump in there. Okay, we got this though. I do. <laughs> we got this though. We're technically immortal, so I don't know why I'm so worried. And it's meant to be dark down there, but I seem to have permanent night vision. How do I turn that off? Oh, that's what's given us night vision. I spent ages looking through all of our the trinkets and stuff. We're a freaking vampire. Vampires can see in the dark. Hmm. Okay, it seems like if we give Lilith some garlic, we'll be freed of our vampirism. So it was fun while it lasted. There she is in there. I mean, what do we lose? We lose night vision. Sure, we lose immortality, but we'll be able to eat real food again. We can say bye to bat form because we won't be able to do this anymore. But we got creative flight, so we should be good. Okay. Lilith. So give her this. We're free from the curse. She's still trapped in there, thankfully. Um, yeah, we've lost our night vision. This is perfect. Oh, I can walk in the sun. I don't know why I'm still kind of affected by the garlic. That seems odd. But anyway, I'm in the sun without sunscreen. Time to head down. There is also this thing called the glow vision goggles, which I can't actually equip. You meant to put them in the face. What's the face? Oh, that's the face. Oh, I can. And that gives you night vision, so long as you have glow ink in your inventory, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we need to eat, don't we? <laughs> we need food now. Does that give us night vision? We'll see. Okay. No more dilly-dallying. <laughs> Let's jump in. Are we under the bedrock? Oh my god, the echo's down here. <laughs> oh, hello. Alright, let's, um, it probably makes sense just to dig straight down. Okay, so far it's just like a regular cave. Or a regular skeleton. Some regular with <laughs> some regular creepers and some really irregular sound design. Everything's gonna be a bit laggy while the world spawns in. Tall black dragon jag. Use the sword. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, look at our hunger. We can actually eat real food now. I love beef wellingtons. You've never tasted so good. Apologies if the echoes are a bit annoying. So we've got a few new things in here to check out. Beneath the bedrock. Your personal journey to the origins of the world. You wouldn't have thought it possible. As you burst deeper and deeper down through the bedrock, a pitch black portal opened up. Where does it lead? Only one way to find out. So there's deep barrens, which has lots of ore. Yeah, we don't really care about. Although maybe there's some fresh ore there. Oh, there's five different types of this dragon stuff. And bone meal makes them spread. Bone meal? Ooh. Heaps of ore if you need it. Including, for some reason, full blocks of redstone. Okay, this thing's just too noisy. Let's swap out that pin for this one. This one, when you get hit, reveals nearby mobs. Well, we, we don't get hit, but okay. Oh my god. Kind of looks real vanilla -y, doesn't it? Just more epic? What's that? What's this? Oh, it's a midnight solution stuff. Black materia. Okay, that's cool. I guess this can happen to your world if you're not careful. Get out. Interesting. Looks like you can do something with this as potion and titration barrels. That's interesting. This is a nice touch, having bits of redstone in there. Vanilla should do that. It's like concentrated redstone ore. Bing. That is something. Oh, cool. That's just a. Oh, that's not just a. That's a cool building block. A nice dark building block. Cool, cool. Very cool. I hope this is coming through okay on YouTube. I know everyone likes to complain about the compression making dark things look 
A little bit too dark. Is that leaves? New chapters, like, didn't do anything. No. Look, you can see it there spiraling through. It looks like it's just unlocked a ton of building blocks. The hunt continues. What's this cool stuff? Pyrite? Oh. Ripper. Interesting. That's painful. Why? <laughs> Why are you being so cruel? I don't understand. Maybe this stuff you can bottle up. No. It just says use a sword. Okay. Harvestable with a sword. Uh, jade, jadeite lotus bulbs. Gives you a bunch of recipes that I don't know what's what. Okay. Moving on. Oh my god. Saw blade holly berry. So this biome has... Oh my god, it's really nasty. So this biome has these things. Which, again, we don't really know their uses of. Which is great. <laughs> which is exactly what you want to hear. So the yellow biome hurts. It's probably a good thing we can fly then. Large bismuth bud. Do you grow up to be a big one? I think so, but I think it's just not on a budding... Yeah, it's not on a budding block. Okay, that's just a, a waste of time, literally. That's a new texture for liquid crystal. It's freaking sick. <laughs> All right, this is fun. I like it down here. Oh, what is this? Bismuth flake. Interesting. And it's got recipes that are obviously locked. That came out of this stuff. That came out of the shale. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought I was the only one around here. What the hell is this? Remnants of the past. So, oh, we have more quests. Oh, this opened up more quests for us. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, that gives us things to look into. Nice animated block there. Chiseled basalt. So this is probably. What is that? That's Noxwood door. Nice. So this must be like a warning. Are you just a fern? Are you something else? You're just a fern. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is this? What's with a weird name? I get that they're just barrels, but they're they're cool barrels. Okay, I don't want to pillage this place too much. We're just investigating. Interesting. I like it. Their their loot is basically not worth stealing. Which I think adds to the eeriness of the place. This is fantastic grass. Look how it's like a little bit larger, but you don't actually, you're not actually elevated. See, there's no stepping up when you're on top of it. So anyway, it's fun. Oh, you are something new. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. So I was thinking this would just be like another boring old <laughs> geode like up on the surface. Block of Moonstone, okay. Okay, let's get rid of everything but the budding ones. Okay, let's dig this stuff up with... Yeah, Moonstone Cluster, yeah. Let's dig it up with our Fortune Pickaxe and drop something white. Moonstone... Moonstone Shards. Um, okay. It's bluish-white shimmer reminds you of the soothing light of the moon on a calm summer night. It's clearly like related to the white powder that we um, that we're looking for to open up that last chest. So that's cool. The tranquility it exudes leaves a calming yet significant impression, like a sleeping cat. Oh, and it's an upgrade to your pedestal. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this season's never going to end, is it? Okay. Oh, you strip this stuff, and it opens up all the delicious recipes. Can I strip you? That's cool. Hello? So we're in some kind of... Some kind of hole... <laughs> so we're in some kind of holy place here. Okay. Oh. Right. Um, 
Oh, secret chest. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Got it. Okay. So I think what this is, is it's teaching us... I mean, no one lives here anymore. I shouldn't feel too guilty about stripping it. It's teaching us how to build the upgraded level of the crafting table thing. Maybe these things are needed too. All right, don't tell anyone that I'm doing this. But it'll save me having to craft them myself later. Okay. You are a memory. What are you a memory of? Oh, there's memories down here. You're a forgotten memory. Ah. Oh. You're all forgotten memories. Okay, we'll take half a stack of them. I feel like this is maybe like a... This is like an incubation chamber or something sick. Isn't it? Okay, I'm just poking around. I'm just poking around up here. And I came across this thing. An ever-promised ribbon. Surely that's going to open up new things here. Yeah. It's gifted to pets and it's an everlasting promise to watch out and care for them. Name it, add pigment to it, and uh, attach it on a creature. Okay. You're just more... Yeah, there's so many of these forgotten memories. I wonder if we can try and hatch them back home. It'd be cool if they were like villagers or something. <laughs> okay, on we go. Well, one way to do this is to follow the quests here. Shear a prickly bay leaf plant. Collect bismuth. Crack and break dragon bone. Oh my god. Okay, we got something called Doom. Doom Bloom. We need to collect a seed. How do we collect the seeds? Okay, you don't just punch it, that destroys it. So, this Doom Bloom stuff. It's funny, it's actually dropping us gunpowder. But it does ask us. Mm, oh, okay. It's one of the quests is collect a doom bloom seed, a delicate touch, a howling fire, explosions, death, and a seed or two. Delicate touch, silk touch. Is that what you're asking? Oh, <laughs> okay. Not as difficult as I thought it'd be. You can harvest gunpowder from it, breaking it without blowing it up requires a silk touch tool or shears. Uh. Are you a thing? You're just... Oh, you're not just bones. You're... You're crazy text bones. You're unbreakable crazy text bones. Interesting. Can't break it. What do I do with it? Another giant ribcage. So maybe not, they're not that rare. What are these things? What the... What are you? Let me see. It raises. Do you want to fight? I don't understand. Ew! They do not look friendly. And they drop nothing exciting. They're like a... They're like an alternative to spiders, I guess. Okay. And <laughs> nothing useful. Creepy ass jerks. Is this just lava? It's not lava, it's dragon root. Oh, what do you do with dragon root? Okay, I figured it was just lava, but um... Yeah, when I tried to when I tried to burn stuff in it didn't work, so there you go. Let's give this a test. I think Ruin might have a chance of, of taking this stuff on, right? Because there is this achievement here saying crack and break dragon bone. And the best way we know to crack things is is ruin. God, you guys are going nuts. Nah. Doesn't seem to be it. It's not making it crackable. I'm not too sure about this, but just digging out the black slag itself doesn't seem to be doing the trick. But when there are... Uh, let me find another one. But when there's one of these things on it, then it gives you... Then it gives you the flake. So it looks like for this one we need to get 50 flakes. Unlock that quest. Ooh! <laughs> Mother load over here. 46. 50? Can we get the... No. Oh. Obviously wrong about that. Do we shear it? Probably not. Do we fortune it? 
Oh, you can just fortune these things. Why are we just getting the flakes though? We're not getting the actual big thing. Interesting. Striker. What? <laughs> Hummington glass. Oh. Whoa. That's beautiful. How about you? Do you want to get in on this action? Oh, wait a minute. Are they sending signals to each other? Is that what that is? So if we put one there, torch is off. And then once we strike this up, it lights it up. It's actually really badass, and we can we can pick these things up too. And I think I've got a couple in my um in my dank already. Strike a humming tone him. Maybe something will happen. Oh. Is 14 enough? Not enough. Okay, wait there. Okay. I think this looks like a bit of a this looks like a choir. Can you please? Be quiet, please. Okay, that looks enough. That looks like it's enough for a choir. Let's give this a test. Okay, I burst my eardrums then. I think I'll have to turn that one down in editing. What's this drop in? Cool, cool, but yeah, a bunch of unknown recipes again. Okay, this one's easy enough. Reach the bottom of the deeper down. Downstone. Ah, oh, so downstone is like the real bedrock. Say what? Uh, feeding an Imperator, Imperial Recipes 3rd Edition. <laughs> God. So it's, a, it's a cookbook. What a place to find it. Like up in the attic of some destroyed house. Uh, does that mean you have one as well? Uh, yes, you do. Oh, also 3rd Edition though. Let's give it a read. Oh my god, this little guy. Hello youngin, well, clearly not meant for me. I hope you've come to share in this little old man's love for cooking. To introduce myself, I am Avastrom of Kurivinda, and I have served the Scarlet Moon Court for over 80 years. It's not a link. Serving as head Imperial Chef. Though nowadays I mostly personally cook for the Imperial family. Do forgive me if I digress a bit throughout this book. Having been around for about 170 years, it gives you a lot to reminisce over. Okay. Interesting recipes. Still haven't stumbled across an excavation site, nor got all the recipe books. I don't know what this means. Fifty Shades everything. I haven't found a prickly bay leaf plant, and I don't know how to crack open the dragon bones. Still some adventuring to be had. Oh my god. This place goes on forever. Um, there was one quest that's very easy. What are you? Friend or foe? I think we got to give him a chance to be friends. Okay, I think that clears that up. What are you protecting? A lodestone? That's it? No. Oh. <laughs> Probably should have let you guys keep that. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I just, yeah, I saw this weird thing on the map and I'm like, let's go investigate what that is. I also saw this weird thing and I just couldn't figure out how to get into the damn thing. But anyway, here we are, downstone. This is the stuff you can't mine. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Treasures. Okay, pretty, pretty regular treasures so far. This is... Yeah, this is an excavation site. Now we're looking for downstone fragments. Oh my god, this is... This might possibly go on forever, I'm not sure. Cool. There we go. Reinforced deep slate. Sounds fun. Downstone fragments. Looks like whoever came before you was able to harvest it. However, only using colossal implosion... Oh, imposing drills. 
It seems like they used it to manufacture preservation stone. Ah, now you got me thinking. Can those same drills perhaps be used to open up that dragon bone stuff? Let's keep looking. Oh, that's the drill. Oh, <laughs> it's not a real drill. It's just an end rod. <laughs> okay. This is some. This is something interesting. State property. Keep out danger ahead. Check out this building. What's this? No, we can't. We can't dig through because there's preservation stone there. God, what a beautiful spot. Jesus. Um, we probably can't dig in the back. It'll be all preservation stone. You're a tower of what? Ooh. So there are, there's turrets here. Can you drop anything? I don't know. Uh, I feel sorry for that guy now. I think we just go in, right? <laughs> like, what's the harm? Um, I got a core. Somehow I got this thing. All right. Let's just walk in, see what happens. Hey, everyone. Oh, that's that's a sneaky way. Oh. Ladder up. Okay. Nothing hide in here. That is a nice sneaky way to indicate a room up there. Bone meal and buckets. Now I feel like I want to kill these things, because one of them at least... Gave me this moonstone core. Interesting. Okay. So, it is the thing, the, the bone looking block. I'm guessing maybe someone else snuck in here and whatever it is that can break it is on the other side. Oh, yep. Maybe. Oh, yep. Okay, there's some good stuff here. As well as just some regular crud. Okay. Well, this is how we take care of that kind of stuff. Nice. Plenty of secrets. Let's head up. Can I get some, some night vision here, please? There we go. That's better. You have pipe bombs. Whoa, highly damaging and set surroundings on fire. Okay, we'll do a trade. You can have all this. I'll have your pipe bombs. Well, I do wish they stacked. All right, we've got 13 pipe bombs. <laughs> yeah. Let's go blop some dinosaur bones. So moonstone cores are bursting with energy. It sounds like a very bad idea to discharge it within milliseconds. But sometimes the worst ideas are the best, aren't they? Gunpowder, midnight chips. That's how you make the pipe bombs. And the cores, I don't really... not really sure how we're meant to get our hands on the cores. Oh. That's just from killing these guys. In that case, I should have been using a soul crystal from Spirit then. Maybe we can get a bunch more of these. And what are you used in? You're, you're used in a couple of secret recipes. Okay, well, not to worry. <laughs> I'm terrified I'm going to... I'm terrified I'm going to blop. They did give us some beds here. So let's, um, let's set a spawn right about here. Oh my god. Okay. Is that how it's going to be? Okay, this isn't one of those places. Let's get the hell out of me. Alright, let's just do it. Do I really have to blow myself up? Was that really necessary? Okay, clearly I got something to learn about pipe bombs. Let's grab another one. Why can't I put it down? I don't want to just have it explode in my face. I was going to try and put it in a barrel. Oh god. Okay, last try. This time I'm just going to be sitting right here. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to explode it. Um, hoping that I take out the box around me, okay? <laughs> Did anything happen then? What's glowing up there? No, this stuff doesn't want to get damaged. 
Death test? You can... You can indeed get those preservation turrets on a soul crystal. Okay, well there's your... I'll take that color, Mari, thank you. Well, there's your farm for this moon uh, moonstone core stuff. I see another one of these places here. This place... Mm, this place has seen better days. Yeah, okay, let's... Ooh, more of that stuff. Let's try out this one here. I'll use our soul sword because I think you get more more souls per kill. Cool, okay, this is great. We'll just have to kill a couple of them. We'll walk on in like we own the place. I guess these guys are I guess they're meant to attack you. But they're just they're just too damn friendly. Okay, plenty of pipe bombs down here as well. Thank you. So I'm wondering if this is how you're meant to do it. Put a barrel, get rid of stuff you don't want. Can we prime this? And put it in there and run away? <laughs> Will that explode? I guess not. Oh my god! I knew it! I knew it! Hey, there's another one up there. You do not do a lick of damage. Like, why is this one a large bud? Oh my god. I just had to mine it with silk touch. There it is. Right, okay. And I think, I suspect you put the, yeah, I suspect you put the flakes on the block of iron and that'll grow. Okay. Okay, this episode's way over time. Let's just test this out real quick. Uh, flakes. There you go. Nope. Um, maybe it's literally just the bud. Oh, I wasn't watching. Interesting. Okay, let's put a large one then on top. Surely this would work. Aha! Aha! We have a cluster. And then we break the cluster to get our hands on the sweet, sweet, juicy bismuth crystals. And with that, we can do a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't been able to find out. Okay. Okay, so that turned into my longest episode ever by quite a bit. Yeah, I didn't know that dimension was going to be so big down there, but I did just want to show off all that new Spectrum stuff at the end of a usual episode, just to avoid spoilers and to make sure that those people who really wanted to see it, they could just stick around to see it, you know? I guess that means you guys. So I spent about four hours down there looking around and I managed to tick off most of these things. I couldn't find all the cookbooks, but that's fine. But finally I did find some of this prickly bay leaf thing. I just couldn't find any of them anywhere, but the color kind of gave it away. So it's a yellow little leaf. The only yellow bush I could find is this holly bush thing. So I shared that and yeah, in hindsight, it was kind of obvious, but it's not called a prickly bay leaf plant. So that was a bit tricky, that one. Didn't find a way to crack the Dragonstone, so I'll have to come back to that. Maybe not on camera, though. And I reckon that once we build this, we'll do this next episode. Once we upgrade our pigment pedestal, I reckon all the um, all the hidden recipes that we couldn't look at, I imagine they're all going to become visible now. For now, let's just turn our magnet off. Let's crush this new gemstone stuff. Oh, we already have the recipe for it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I already unlocked this. Yeah, I mean, because all these powders are... Basically, you get them from crushing. I imagine the moonstone powder is also a crush. Oh, I was feeling pretty smart. I thought I figured that out by myself, but apparently not. Anyway, we should be able to open this, this grey puzzle now and see what's been hiding in that chest all this time. Colour mixing. Grey, okay. This page hasn't updated. I'm just going to have a stab in the dark. I think these three colours make white. Let's add a black one and then the moonstone. No. There we go. <laughs> so that was um, two onyxes and a moonstone. So two blacks and a white gives you your gray. Now we can finally get back here and see what all the fuss has been about. Like this chest has been in our world the entire time, but its contents weren't like made yet. That just generated in after the spectrum update, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool way to lock things behind future updates. All right, let's see what's behind chest number three. Okay, a couple of enchants. 
Um, hmm. N none of this is new, though, is it? That's new? Oh, I thought we already had a locket. We did. We already had four of them. So I'm not too sure what that means. This small locket is tight shut. It features an odd ornament which resembles a notch. Softly glow in a pale white colour, a shimmer reminiscent of the moon. There seems to be something inside. Hmm. What's it trying to say? Do I need to... Where's my moonstone? Do I open it with a moonstone or something? Features a small empty notch. Okay, it's not tied to any of the quests. I can't, like, I can't open it with this moonstone thing. Hmm. You've not discovered the recipe yet. Okay, I think this is just a mystery for now. Yeah, I think a lot's going to happen once we upgrade our, our pedestal to the top tier. Which is going to have to wait until next episode. Next episode will be the final episode, so please be sure to come stick around and watch that. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that completionist trophy and finally being crowned the Frog King of AOF. Alright, that won't be next weekend though. Next weekend instead I'll be streaming a boss rush of all the Twilight Forest bosses. Which I think yeah, there's going to be a nice change of pace and perhaps a more interesting way to to cover some content that you guys have probably seen hundreds of times over the years. Twilight Forest haven't been around for so long and all. I'll figure out some time we're going to do that and I'll, I'll make an announcement, so please come along if you're free. Alright, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time. Bye for now.